Hi, Carl here, KE0JWK. I'm back with part three. Uh, we're going to look at some symbols, i.e. some variable use uh, this time around. Uh, as you can see, and <clears throat> if you didn't catch it in the description, uh, it's probably best if you're watching this on full screen mode so you can actually see what's going on uh, with the, uh, the numbers, especially in this part. Um, anyway, as you can see, um, I've, I've removed the, a lot of the numbers from here and I've replaced them with the variables. So let's go uh, over to symbols and see our, what we've got defined here. Um, on our sketch that I made in paint, um, let me move these over a little bit. Okay, you can see I've, I've put some different marks on here. Um, remember our vertical radiator was 19 inches tall. Um, the uh, we're going to call this vertical end one, which is the bottom. We're going to call it H1, and we're starting it at 158 inches above ground level. Um, H2 uh, is right here, and that equals H1. We want the antenna 19 inches tall for starters, uh, so it's H1 plus 19 inches. So on our geometry screen, we can look at wire one um, for the Z. It has we're zeroed out on X and Y, so we're right in the middle. And uh, for the Z, we've got H1, and for Z, or Z1 rather, and for Z2, the point 2 on it is H2. So that's 19 inches above H1. I know it sounds confusing, but it really makes it a lot simpler if you if you do this. So um, back to our paint sketch. Um, also have marked um, uh, RH, which I'm my is my abbreviation for radial height um, as you can see in my comments um, so i've got radial height one and radial height two because remember this is a ground plane we're going to have to angle those radials down to get the, the proper uh, feed point impedance so um, uh, radial height one i want to be at the same point as our vertical radiator so it equals h1 okay Radial height 2, I want it to be 8 inches below that. So I'm making uh, RH2 equal height 1, which is 158 inches, minus 8 inches. And that's how much down, if you look here, if I can get it here. Yeah, you saw it before. We'll bring it up again in a minute. Um, you'll see the, the radials are tipped down a little bit. Um, so on our geometry window here, um, wire one or wire two, three, four, and five. Okay, so one and two are going to be off right above the x and, and y coordinates. So if they're zeroed on uh, RL one. They're, that puts them the same height as the uh, the base of the vertical radiator, and then uh, on uh, on on the X uh, axis, um, they're going to be drooped down. They'll be radial. Oops, wait a minute. That's the length. I'm sorry. On the Z axis, they're radial height two. So that puts them eight inches below H1. If you remember from what we had on the symbols here. Um, so on the radial lengths, the um, I already have somebody coming in. Sounds like my granddaughter. Um, hopefully it's uh, not too loud. Anyway, so you get the idea. Um, you put the the symbols in their proper uh, proper places. You're just replacing number numbers with variables, and you can define the variables over here. So let's uh, let's run this real quick and see what we have. In case I made a mistake, <laughs> well, we're, we'll see it real quick here. If I did, okay. There's. Uh, I'm not sure why my geometry window isn't cooperating here. Let's bring up the 3D view and, uh, and get it from that. Okay, I do have something uh, something in the wrong place. Oop, and it just shut down the whole program on me. Um, don't save. So let me get it open back up here and figure out uh, what I have in the wrong place. I believe I know uh, what it is. I think I forgot. A, uh, a negative symbol. Where's my editor at? Oh yeah, it's uh, 
oops brought up the wrong antenna sorry guys open up find the right one find the NEC files we're on the ground playing with variables yeah make sure you save your work <laughs> okay so let me get a good good close look at it here and then see what I did okay wire number three on, is going to be on the opposite side so it leads with a negative sign and um, same thing on wire five maybe it was just a fluke because uh, <clears throat> I hadn't shut it down in between these different versions there we go now it's working right yeah that's what it was it was just a little software uh, glitch there so you can see all the radials they're Four different sides and all angled down now here's one of the beauties of uh, using the symbols let's say I want to angle them down lower so I can take this uh, radial height number two and uh, I can change this from h1 minus 8 let's say to h1 minus 12 and we'll go boom hit uh, calculate and watch it do its magic okay see how much uh, how much more down uh, on a downward angle those radials are now let's see what it did to our pattern um, not a whole lot of change just a little bit um, gave us just a tad more gain I think uh, not, not enough to worry about but it, it did make a slight difference there so let's recalculate this and uh, and we'll see what the uh, what the impedance is on this antenna now that I uh, lowered those radials <clears throat> yeah tick tock tick tock I know it uh, it takes a little time makes me wish I had a uh, faster computer uh oh I just closed the wrong box I believe let's try that again frequency sweet oh I, that's why the frequency set wrong on it um, we were doing uh, 140 megahertz to 150 megahertz and half megahertz uh, steps okay let's see if that works a little better get in a hurry sometimes and uh, and you miss those little tidbits okay so moving the radials down with that it it moved the resonant point the uh, way over to 142 megahertz so we'll have to make some other changes let's see what the impedance is at 147 um, which is where we were shooting for we're up to uh, uh, we are at 23 ohms oops I'm sorry we're at 56 ohms and uh, so Let's go back to the drawing board, so to speak, and uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, so now we are 12 inches down. The tips of these, though, are still um, 19, I think it was 19 and 3 quarters out, or here, yeah, 19 and 3 quarters inches out away from our, from our uh, Z axis. So what it did was it really lengthened these radiators a lot radials a lot so we're going to shorten this um, I'm just going to take I'm not even going to do the math uh, I'm just going to take a stab at it and change that to 18 inches that'll be 18 inches out from the z-axis but it's still going to be 12 inches down from from the bottom of our antenna and we'll see what kind of difference that made and uh, if you don't like math you can just experiment just like I'm showing you look at raised it up raise the resonant point up from uh, I think where were we 141 uh, megahertz a minute ago now we're at 144 so um, that made an, a difference uh, let's see what the impedance is at 147 which is our which is our uh, 
Um, so we can adjust that a little more. But now the other way where we're putting the numbers in all of these boxes, um, I'd had to go through and change um, a minimum of, of four of these in order to make that change. So you can get an idea of the beauty of, of how great it is to use these symbols and how easy it makes it. Okay, I'm going to make this the end of this one. And uh, next time we'll, uh, we'll move on to the optimizer and we'll let this, this program do this, uh, these adjustments for us. Um, see you on the next one. Uh, if you liked it, hit the, hit the thumbs up button. Um, subscribe and uh, you'll get uh, notified with the next one. Thanks for watching. KE0JWK. See you later.